Greg Popovich had some complimentary things to say about Luka Doncic. We'll get to that in a minute, but first, let's take a look at his return to action. First game back since December 14th. Driving inside, testing that ankle. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, Ooh how about fine. that? I'd say what Curry went all Luka on us. If you can do that in your first game back, you could have been back a week ago. You did that for 17 years. Exactly. All right, here he is throwing up the lob to Dwight Powell. Bet he's glad to have Luka back. Yeah, yeah. honestly. In the three. Look at that. He has it from range. He's got everything he wants. He does. Look at this. These type of passes are just special. They're you just can play different. with him and still play. Look at this. This pass dunks itself, <laughs> right? Like, it just dunks itself. Just jump. The ball will be there. All right, fourth quarter, Luca weaving his way through traffic, hitting the layup. Yeah, I'd say he looks all the way back. Luca, how, how did they not have How did they not have Luca on Christmas Day? How did they not have Luca on Christmas that. Day? Because they heard he was going to be hurt, wasn't ready. But Mavs, no, that's not yeah. true. Yeah, that's a little not forecasting. <laughs> Mavs held on to win. Luca 24-10-8, and here is Greg Popovich. I hate to say this, he's not Magic Johnson, but it's Magic Johnson like in the sense. That he sees the floor in the same way. He's got a real intuitive sense. And you can't teach that. Ooh, Seth, how about what do you that? think? Magic Johnson I, I call or Magic, him Magic Johnson? Like? I call him Magic esque, is what I call him. Okay. Look, he's got the size, he's got the strength, he's got the feel. The dude is 20 years old. Right. He should be right now a junior in college, and yet he's dropping dimes, and he's a winning player, more importantly. He makes the game easier for everyone else. Like, Richard, if you could play with a point guard that just delivered you the ball on time, on target, and you could just stick in the corner. Hands up, be ready to shoot the ball. You'd still be playing. Here's that's, what, that's how I got into the NBA. Exactly. I with Jason Kidd. Exactly. Like, and right here, look what he does. Yeah. Eyes on the rim, draws a second defender, drops it over to Powell. Terrific. Can go straight line drive, a little Euro pass. And there you got Dorian Finney-Smith. Played for me, by the way, Virginia Tech. <laughs> Spots up, knocks down to three. How about his ability? A little magic-esque right there, dropping it behind the back, but looking off the defender. And to me, this is what makes him so tough because – he has size, he has strength, he can play through contact, and this is where I give him a little bit of Bird. I love this little shot fake, except Bird would talk trash right there as the guy flew by. His ability to show the ball, the defender go, and all of a sudden knock down that three. Think about this offense. This is the most efficient offense since post-ABA era. Think about this. You're talking about the most efficient offense. Look at the other four. The other four, all four of those other teams, how about this? They went to the NBA Finals. That, team oh, going no. to, that team's not going to the NBA Finals, though. They I'm, upset, I'm just they, making a they, comparison. They, I, it's great. I'm, I like the comparison because it shows you how talented they are and what they're capable of doing when you talk about Przingis and the talent that mm -hmm. Doncic has around them. But, man, they are going to upset somebody in the second round. I think they can make it to a conference finals, but to say that they could beat the Lakers and Clippers. They're, they're a the defense away yeah, from that. They're a defense Let's away go down that. on Luka for a second, setting aside the team. Before he was injured, he was being talked about as a viable MVP contender. Do you think he's still in the race? I don't think he is. I think he can be mentioned. I think if he finishes the, the season strong, and again, I know we're not even at the midway point, I think you can mention him in that conversation, but he's so far away from guys like, I would even say Anthony Davis, uh, you know, obviously Giannis, Braun. There are other guys in that mix that he has to catch up to. First 30, the first 30 games, though, yes, he was definitely one of the top five guys. The key to a great player is to make the game easier for others. He does that. I think he's a year or two away from being an MVP. He will always be in the discussion because how easy he makes the game for others. He sees plays before they happen. That's the sign of greatness. That's why I say he's magic-esque. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+.